Hi there everyone, this is Bob Barton with the Nautilus Dry Docks again, and we are finally going to try and get this uh, 48th scale German Type 7 submarine off for her maiden voyage. We're going to start with a little bit of prep work, show you how this thing gets prepped for the pond, how it all goes together, and then we'll finally get it wet for you. Guys, what you see here is uh, basically all of the components uh, of the model. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the cylinder, the guts uh, of the operation, and we're going to get that all set to go. So we got the main cylinder here. We're just going to point out a few of the important details. Uh, mounted to the top here, we've got an electronic solenoid that actuates our uh, vent valve. Um, we got a magnetic mount here. That's uh, going to work for the speaker uh, once we get that in there. And then in the back, we've got uh, air in and air out for the ballast system. Uh, we have also got our uh, output shafts, our linkages, and uh, this is the output for the sound. Moving to the front. What we've got here is the uh, main drive battery. Uh, this is a pair of lithium polymer batteries, 1300 milliamp hour capacity, uh, rigged in parallel for 2600 or 2.6 amps. Uh, should be plenty of running time. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by connecting the power leads. And this is ready for installation. And just so that you can see it there, we've got a, uh, a fuse in here. And that's important to note uh, because the 10 amp fuse, if anything uh, shorts out in there, that fuse will blow first before anything else. So we're gonna slip this in, press it to the back there. I'm gonna tuck the lead for the bow plane in place. And then we're gonna make sure that we line up the marks uh, and that'll make sure correct orientation uh, happens there. And this just takes a little bit of, of wiggling and it seats down nice and tight in there. This is our uh, servo output for the dive planes and this is the testing um, hose. And what'll come with the model is, a, is an extended one so that you can test the cylinder from time to time for leaks. Right now it's just kind of capped off with a short piece. So. Now we've got this thing all set up. Uh, it is ready for installation. Now probably a good idea would be to uh, bench test it right now. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, what we've got here is the six channel radio system. Uh, this is from Vex Robotics. Uh, it's a good, reliable, cheap uh, radio system but having good luck with them. Um, you can see all of the controls have been marked out on the front as well as the back. We've got ballast controls, sound controls as well. So we're going to extend our antenna, turn on the transmitter. And now that we've got everything going, we're going to hit our remote on off button on the key fob here and that should power on our cylinder. And there we go. So let's just give it a few little wiggles here. Uh, we got some bow pane control on the output there. Got rudder control on the back. Um, throttle forward and reverse. Got a spare channel uh, that you can hook up for something in the future. And we don't have the sound hooked up yet, so we'll, we'll test that once we have it um, mounted in the model so oh we can i guess we can test the uh, the ballast system as well and you're not going to be able to see very much but you've got um that's the little pump operating in there and then we've got our vent so everything looks like it's in good operating condition let's uh turn it off here and again just hit the button on the remote powers off powers off antennas down and now comes the fun part of installing this in the model. So in order to do that, 
you're going to slip this in from the rear, making sure we don't snag any wires or anything. I'm going to move this forward, forward. And you see that we've got uh, a couple of saddles in there that this is going to uh, sit on and make sure our front bow plane linkage is pointed forward so that it can magnetically latch to the uh, bow plane linkages. And we heard a little click. You can see that right down in here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to attach the um, lockdown. And this basically slips in place like this, goes in underneath. Now you can see when mounted perpendicular to the hull, uh, we got some holes to line up. So with that being the case, I'm just going to slip the cylinder forward until both of those holes line up perfectly. So cylinders in place. So what we're going to do at this point, we're going to use uh, you know, a standard number one Phillips head screwdriver, put our stainless bolts through and into the hold down. And there's the, the, that piece um, does a couple of things. Number one, it holds the cylinder in place. Uh, and number two, it actually pulls the sides of the hull uh, into shape as well to make sure that it makes a perfect flush fit uh, with the deck. Okay, both of those screws sit nice and flush uh, with the recess for the deck. Now what we can move on to is installation of the um, speaker and running our antenna. So I'm going to do that now. This is the uh, antenna. I'm going to tuck that in underneath that arm beside and under so it doesn't get in the way of anything. Tuck it all the way up into the front. So that's in place there right now. The other thing I want to do is make sure I've got my lead for my um, intake for my ballast system. I'm just going to thread that through, um, keep it off to the side there for now. Going to attach the lead for the sound system. This gets put underneath here like this. Slides forward and it locks magnetically. So that is in place, no screws, no fuss. Um, since we've got this here right now and it's fairly easy to do, let's just test that sound system right now and make sure it's working properly. Turn on the cylinder and let's see if we can get a sound going here for us. There's our sonar pings. Everything seems to be working really well. So let's shut this thing down again. Next step is the installation of the stern section. Um, things of note uh, inside here are the uh, linkages for the rudder and for the rear die planes and then our two shafts for the props. So this is probably the trickiest part of the entire um, installation. Just going to make sure we don't pinch any cables. We've got some cutouts in there to uh, feed them through. We're going to nestle the uh, stern section in place there. But so before we slide this all the way forward, what we need to do is slide our drive shafts into the place on the dog bones uh, for the cylinder. And I find uh, needle nose pliers work really good for this. We're going to grab the port side here and nestle this forward until it rests in place. I'm going to grab the starboard side and we're going to do the same thing. So now that those are kind of nestled, just going to spin the prop a little bit until the dog bones match up. Give it a little wiggle and we are now nice and tight, flush. Shafts are in place. So next step 
I'm going to take the stainless steel uh, little bolts. And I find two is uh, certainly adequate, although uh, you can certainly do three. It's just a little bit harder to get to the bottom of the model, especially when it's on a stand. Um, two works just fine. Uh, I would just recommend that you don't pick it up from the stern section here. So that's our starboard side stainless bolt. And here is our port side. Again, this kit is really, really well uh, thought out and put together. Arc model did a really good job. Um, even while some of the scale details may be lacking, uh, you know, the rivets are a little big and the details in the conning tower aren't 100% perfect, it's still a beautiful uh, scale model that will satisfy you know 99% of people who aren't absolute sticklers so basically the main hull is now uh, assembled and we're gonna move on to the installation of our upper deck uh, and this actually is something I'm pretty proud of uh, you can see magnets uh, here and here and then again in the hull and this just basically slips in place and locks down this front piece um, is somewhat of a, of a pressure fit. Uh, it's really nice and flush. And before I put the rest on, I just want to show you these torpedo tube doors, um, which are a really cool feature. So the top ones are, can be manually uh, open and closed, and I'll just uh, pop that open for you so you can see. And then the bottom ones, because it's harder to put those back in, I ran a linkage, and that's what this little lever right here is and you can just um, pull that in and it actuates in and out so you can see the uh, details of the torpedoes in there okay so we've got the front deck in place we're going to move to the center deck um, i'm going to attach our uh, intake for the ballast system you can see there's a little magnet uh, right on the top that's going to mate to one on the snorkel mast you know, set that in place, push it forward, and it's just going to lock right into place. Uh, next thing that we're going to do is uh, run our lighting circuit forward, and the outlet for that is right next to the um, solenoid valve there. Black to black, red to red. We're going to tuck that down. And actually, um, come to think of it, the better way of doing this is, is to run it underneath this. There we go. Run it forward. Connect the lighting. Tuck that down so it's not in the way of anything. And basically, we are going to put our deck on now. So tuck the, the wires underneath, tuck the ballasts underneath, slide the uh, deck forward, and locks in place magnetically. That's really tight, really clean. Uh, the wire here for the rear deck um, has a little slot that you're going to want to tuck the wire into. That brings us to our um, rear deck. And before we put that on, we're going to attach the rear linkages. There's one. And two. So each one of the outputs are actually labeled um, on the back of the cylinder so you can see what attaches to what. And I think I'm going to color code this uh, before I ship it out just so that there's no mistakes. So that done, we're going to uh, pick up the rear here, tuck this in, push it down, and everything is flush and in place. Last step. We're going to connect our cabling here, and this is magnetic as well. 
just connects one to each side. This is a stretchy jewelry cable. It works absolutely perfectly uh, for this application. We're gonna run this up to the front and do the same there. So there you have it. We've got a, uh, a prepped submarine ready for the water. Uh, last thing that we're gonna do is uh, just a little bench test here and make sure everything is working. So let's uh, start with our, oh, we gotta turn on our model. You can see all our lighting just came on, which is uh, really cool. It's a visual indicator that the model uh, is on and running. We've got port and starboard navigation lights. We've got a stern light there, and we've got a stern light uh, in the back of the model there. Helps with visibility. You look really cool running at night uh, as well. But again, a visual indication that the model's turned on. All right, now that everything is up and uh, operational, we've got powered up, we got lights. Uh, let's test some of the functions here. Uh, we've got some bow planes, we've got some nice throw on the bow planes. Check out our uh, rudder. We've got nice throw there as well. Um, ballast system is a little hard to check, but you actually can do that. Uh, and the way that you do that is you just put your finger over this intake on the uh, snorkel. When you turn the pump on, you're going to feel suction uh, right there. So you can test that as well on the bench to make sure that it's going. Let's play the sound again just to make sure that that's working. There we go. We now have a fully operational uh, RC submarine ready for the water. Um, thanks for joining me on this video. I'm gonna break this up. Next video is gonna show this thing actually in the water. So thanks to you guys who are interested in the technical aspect of this boat. Uh, for you guys who want a little more drama, check out the next video. Uh, we'll see you then, thanks.